Authorities have recovered a cache of weapons stolen during a gun store burglary today that put a Chester County community on high alert. This morning, thieves targeted Chester County outdoors on Lancaster Avenue in East Whiteland Township. Shante Lands is live at the East Whiteland Police Department with how investigators tracked down two suspects. Shante. Well, Jessica, one burglar was caught, suspected burglar was caught right after the burglary. The other one was caught five hours later. He was hiding under someone's deck. And they got him in here, supposedly under that deck. They found him. A chaotic scene in Stephanie Menta's backyard in Malvern Tuesday morning. Police found a wanted burglary suspect hiding under her neighbor's deck. I did hear him yelling not to come near him. It could have gone so much worse than it did, but thank God their police was great and they got him. Across town near the Malvern East Whiteland Township border, a detective carries an evidence bag from the woods to his squad car. It's one of 24 long rifle style and handguns recovered after a burglary across the street at Chester County Outdoors on Lancaster Avenue. That's like our worst fear. Police say around 5 a.m. while responding to another call, a Malvern police officer spotted two men, one of them, this guy. Anything that you have to say? 23 year old Shane Wolf of Downingtown running away carrying bags that looked like they contained guns. The officer chased and caught Wolf. The other suspect, 22 year old Taylor O'Brien of Malvern, was found nearly five hours later hiding under Menta's neighbor's deck. The SWAT team came in, so it was something in a community like this. You know, it's a very small community, a very safe community, so it was kind of unsettling. Meanwhile, the entire Great Valley School District was placed on high alert. This Malvern resident's younger sister wasn't allowed to leave her high school. So she called me and asked for, like, Wendy's because she couldn't go out. Immaculata University, which has a graduation this week, sent out four text alerts to its students. Very scary, yes. We're just thankful our students were not on campus at this time. And Shane Wolf was arraigned this afternoon. He was charged with trespassing, burglary, and uh, criminal trespassing and theft. He's being held on $250,000 cash bail. The other suspect, Taylor O'Brien, is expected to be arraigned tonight. That's the very latest in East Whiteland Township, Shantae Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.